and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we will be creating a banking app using C++ let me actually show you how it will look once we finished it so we can go maybe to C++ slash fun slash banking application and we can just go output so basically this is an application where you can create and manage your banking and stuff like that but it's just for fun in fact if you go onto Google and you search up C++ begin beginner project if you search up C++ beginner project and you literally go to the second link CPP for school Then I really create this one that would just pretty fun. Then here right here is a banking system project. I didn't really look at anything specific. I just saw the name and I was like, yes, I'm gonna make that. So there might be some similarities, but it won't be exactly as the way these people want it. But I just saw this name and I was like, yes, I want to do this. So we are going to basically make my version of a banking system project. And that is basically this. This is a banking system project. And uh, let's use an account, uh, use an existing account. Uh, I think easier was an admin. You can be either admin or not admin. And that was a password. Yes, it was. So basically you can deposit, withdraw, display your account, display a specific account of someone else. This is only admin privilege. Display all accounts, also only an admin privilege. Edit account and delete an account, both also just admin privileges. So let's say for example, let's display my account. It says that I am at the Bank of America, uh, my username is easier, and I have $142 in my account, it's a checkings account, and withdrawal interest is 7.14%, and I am also admin. Okay, cool. Now, let's deposit a bit of money. Let's say we want some um, some of 500 deposited. And 500 was deposited into our account. Now let's withdraw and remember we have interest. So let's withdraw the same amount that we put in. But this time we got a $35 uh, interest and now we only have $107 left. Then you can display a specific account such as Baki, which is an existing account. Baki, Baku. Ah, there we go. There's we go. Baku is an existing account. A rich man with a chickens account withdrawal interest the same, and they are admin. Now let's say we want to edit his account, so he's not admin. Then let's go Baku, and then they display the information, and we can change what we want: username, password, account type, or admin rights. So let's go admin rights and we want to remove his admin rights so now if we display specific account which is four we can go baku and it will say admin no then also we can go display all accounts which will be five and this will just literally display all the accounts and yeah so th this is just basic if all this works we don't have to go through all of them right now then when you exit you also get a nice message saying thank you for using bank of america of course you don't need to use specifically bank of america but that's just what i like to use so here we have a folder that uh, geez i don't want to create a folder like that i'm i'm a pro programmer let me just look smart this will work on both Windows and Linux, so don't worry, just because my operating system is Linux, it should still work on Windows. And if you're using Mac, don't worry, it probably does work on Mac as well. C++ usually generally works everywhere, just here and there, maybe something's not, but mine should work everywhere. Anyways, so let's create a directory, and we can call this, let me make mkdir, and we can call this banking application and then we can just go into banking application 
basically if you're doing it with a GUI you don't need to do it with the terminal you can just create your own folder right here and you just go in there and if you're using Windows or Linux you can just literally go and create a new document for what we're going to do now I just feel using touch is much faster so what we'll need is main.cpp uh, c make lists dot txt this is so we can use c make you don't need this and um, this I know is I think actually this is mainly for Linux I don't know if this works on Windows or Mac but I know this does work on Linux so yeah but using G++ GCC or any other compiling method is up to you I just find using CMake being very fast especially since we have so many freaking things we have to compile but if you're using an IDE it should basically do it for you if I have to guess but I'm using Sublime Text, so it's not going to do it for me. And then we'll need a users, whoopsie, users dot, you can use dot that, dot txt, dot my own ext for extension, or whatever you want. This is up to you. I just like to use dot that because it sounds smart. Then we have user dot cpp and user dot h. This basically just says creates a user object and user header for that object. It doesn't say that, but that's what the file is going to be used for. And then we have bank.cpp and bank.h. Also, you don't need to know a lot of C to do this. I will be going through everything because when I did this, I had like maybe month, month and a half experience of coding with C. And now I'm going to show you guys how I solved all of this. Now if you just press enter, it will create all of the files for you. Easy as that. Now let's open them all in Sublime Text. All of them have been opened into Sublime Text. And let's start with CMake lists. Inside of the CMake file, uh, just go and write all of this down because I can't remember this to save my life so I literally just copy and paste this from different projects in here so first thing that happens also I think you need to install CMake uh, I'm going to link a video down in the description like right here it says CMake so you might need to install it anyways I'm going to link a video in the description you can go watch it that's how I got into using CMake you just have to watch it yourself but yeah, then you can just copy and paste this each and every time. So then there is CMake, minimum required version. This basically just means use minimum version of 3.0. Don't go under 3.0 with CMake. And then set CMake build type to debug. So you're just going to debug the application as well. Set CMake CXX flag. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what this does. I think this is just error messages, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I really don't know project and then this is basically just a project name and then the executable would be output that's going to be what we're going to have an ex executable as you saw last time or not last time as you saw I typed like dot slash output and then it run a ran the application that's basically what I did I created an executable with CMake and then these are all the files that's going to have to be compiled so yeah make sure you correct the naming and make sure all of the extensions are correct if they're not correct then uh, you might encounter some errors but yeah this is a basic cmake file you can just save that and then actually you can close this you never have to open it again how easy or not how easy how amazing is that now we can start with main.cpp so let's go hashtag include io stream then you can hashtag include and bank.h because we are going to be using bank.h from here then we can just create our main and uh, yeah if you're using newer C++ you don't need this you can actually remove that and you also don't need this you just need this this is literally all you need but because I like my good practice I'm gonna put all or not good practice just old practice but it gave it to me so I'm just gonna use it all then you can save this the main is done for today and let's go to bank.cpp and then we can go hashtag include 
io stream and then we can also go hashtag include yeah bank.h and then what we want to do is we want to go bank bank std string bank bank name and then double interest so okay so double interest and then once you do that this is basically just the constructor we're going to use <sighs> okay then in bank dot h we don't need to do anything yet because we will get to using bank.h later so then we can go to users.cpp and we can literally just go hashtag include uh, yeah user.h hashtag include yeah io stream and then also hashtag in e i don't know about that yeah so we just need to do this and then there should be no problem save that save that save that save that make sure to save everything we don't need to do anything users.h right now and we don't need to do anything in users.dat and if you want to see if any if everything works uh, yeah we'll need to create that so we're not going to run anything just yet so first go watch that video on how to use cmake if you don't know how to and uh, yeah so this is the first video we're just going to we just did the initial basic setup next time we will be doing more on uh, bank.cpp and main.cpp and maybe even users yeah so yeah thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and we'll be following along with this course and see you all in the next video